So hey, this is Roger Eastlick with wishlistbonus.com and this is a quick video to show you how to install the wishlist member WordPress membership plugin. Very quickly, now uh, membership sites are different things to different people. I think some people think you always a membership site is something like um, maybe like Dishnet or something where you have to pay month after month after month and Dishnet is a membership site does have a membership site um, but it also can be a one-time membership site where you really just one per a person can pay you one time and um, and then get access to maybe a single post or a single video or a single PDF file and that's also a membership site in general a membership site is really where you're where you just have a restricted access to your content and it could be a, a post, it could be an article, it could be a page, it could be a PDF file, and like we say, it could be like a video. And um, normally if you have a blog, right, everybody can see it and you want everybody to see it, but there's times when you want to market your stuff and get people to pay for your stuff um, and restrict access. And that's what the wishlist member does, and that's what a membership site does. A, a membership site does, and this is what the plugin does. So let's get right to it. So, um, Wishlist Member is a plugin f for WordPress, and WordPress is, in case you haven't heard, it is a blogging platform and also a content management system. It's free, it's open source, um, and I'm going to show you two things. I want to show you um, I want to show you how to install WordPress itself. I'm going to use a uh, a program called Quick Install, which is offered by a host called HostGator, which is a very popular web hosting company. It's the one I use. Then we're going to install Wishlist Member itself. We're going to configure a couple settings for Wishlist Wishlist Member, and we're going to create a level. And I'll show you all how that all works. So, to go over to uh, Wishlist member. First thing you do is you'd go into uh, if you go through, for example, um, wishlistbonus.com. That would bring you to a page that would look like uh, like this, where you could go ahead and uh, buy wishlist member. Once you've bought Wishlist Member, you're going to be taken. You're going to be given a link, and you would um, go to customers.wishlistproducts.com with the username and password that they've sent you, and you go ahead and log into that. And once you log in, you would be able. You would see a license key and download links link over here on the right hand side. And you go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see right at the top of the page, you're going to see your license key and information and your license email that you used when you registered a wishlist member. And then you're going to see a download link right here. And what, you want, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on that download link. And we're going to go ahead and put that on, the, on our desktop. It's going to stay right there for right now. And now we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a site that I want to install this, all this on. And I have a site called wishlistbonus.com. And to log into your log into your web host company site is basically you're going to type uh, your domain name or your website name forward slash and then cPanel and hit enter. And that should give you <coughs> excuse me. That should give you a login screen actually. And I'm already logged in here, but it'll give you a login screen. You go ahead and log in with your credentials. And now we're gonna scroll down to the page down here to where it says software services. And I'm going to click on Quick Install because the first thing we're going to do again, like we said, is to install WordPress. And click over here oh, to the left where it says WordPress. 
I'm going to click continue. And now if you only have one uh, one website on your uh, installation then or on in your account then you it should be right here if not and like I've got lots of them then it's going to be in one of these uh, subdirectory it's going to be in the drop down box and hopefully you don't have quite this many but I'm going to go ahead and click on wishlist bonus I'm going to install this in the members members directory allows me to do um, you know the marketing and, and blogs and things like that and then still have um, room on the website for just the membership site I'm going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> fill in the rest of this and um, you need the admin, you need your email, you need the, your first name, your last name and you can actually put the uh, admin username in there, I just put my name in there and the blog title make that wish list bonus and then you click install now and it's pretty fast it hesitates a little bit in the very beginning but you'll see in a second that it uh, kicks in and once it gets going it, it's really fast and it will install give me a brand new installation of WordPress and it, you're gonna see it's gonna be at this point it's gonna be 332 which is the um, most current version. Oh, it says I've got uh, illegal characters. In my user admin name. So how about if we make it like this? How about if we just make it Roger? And I'm going to click on install now. And there you go. If I was paying attention, I would have seen that earlier. But now, like I say, it really takes off fast. Boom! It's it's done. It shows you the username and your password, which you can always change, and you can click. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to click here to to access my WordPress installation. As you can see, here it is. Um, I'm going to log into that by typing "adding onto this WP admin" at the end of my of that link, and I'm going to go ahead and put my username in here and my password that it gave me so now here I am I've log I'm logged in what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and install that plugin that I just that I just downloaded wishlist member so I'm going to go over here to plugins and then add new and I'm going to upload it because remember we downloaded it to our um, desktop I'm going to go up here I'm going to go up to my desktop and go, I'm going to go down here to um, wishlist member highlight that and click on open and I'm going to click on install now I'm going to go ahead and click on here on activate plugin And I'll see down here. I've got the wishlist member installed, um, <clears throat> and over here you can see that it says wishlist plugins and wishlist member. I'm going to go ahead and click on wishlist member, and now it wants me to put in my wishlist products key and my email. And remember from before, we had my license key. and my email so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in and when I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and click the save wishlist products key and it'll take us to the next screen okay so here we are at the next screen once once you've put in your license information it will say license information saved up here at the top and you'll be able to come up here to where it says settings there's just a couple things we need to do It asks you if you want to use the setup wizard right now. We're not going to use the setup wizard. You're just going to say no here. Okay. And it's going to say wishlist member notice no membership levels have been added yet. Um, we are going to
First, we're going to go over here to Protection Defaults right here. I'm going to click on that. Just a couple things that we want to do. We want to say Show Only Show Content for each membership level. We want to say Yes. And we want to automatically protect default content protection. We want to turn that on. That means that everything that we do is going to be protected. And we'll show you that in just a second. So I want to save that. Save settings here. And then I want to go up here to um, membership levels. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to just type in here full for full membership. And I am going to allow, put no expiration date on it. And for the moment, we're just going to say all pages, all categories, all com, all all posts, and all comments. All right. We're going to go ahead and save the settings. All right. So at this point, we actually have a um, membership site. What we're going to want to do now is to click on members to add a member to it. And I'm going to add add a new member right here. I'm going to click on add a new member. The username is going to be Jerio. Keep it consistent so I know what it is. So we're done that. I'm going to give it access to the full level and add the member. Okay, so now we've got one. Now we want to add a little bit of content here real quick. And what we're going to do is, of course, if you know uh, Wishlist very well, you know you can go up here and then you can add a post. So we're going to go ahead and add a post. And um, if I can just spell. I'm going to go ahead uh, only only members should should see this I'm going to go ahead and if we scroll down now we should see that yes this is protected and this is going to give it's going to have access to full and I didn't have to do anything at all it's automatically going to be protected and that's really what you want okay and then we're going to go ahead and publish that So now if we log out of here, all right, then we scroll down. It's still, we still only have Hello World. That's the only thing that we see, right? Okay, but I'm going to log in as Rogerio. And I should be able to see that. And there it is. I only see it if I'm logged in. So this has been Roger Eastlick. This has been how to install the Wishlist Member WordPress membership plugin at wishlistbonus.com. Thank you.